Alright guys, welcome to our next project here at our old house. Not this old house, but this old house. It's our old house. Well, first of all, let me tell you what we're doing. We're getting into replacing this beam with an I-beam. Originally we were going to put a metal fitch plate on and put two beams um, because we're opening up this basement and going to finish it. But this has gotten me in the head a few too many times. It's assaulted me a few too many times. So I said, I'm done with it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna replace it with an I-beam and then we're gonna put uh, two posts on either end and, uh, and actually we're gonna recess it up a little bit as well so it's, so it's actually higher. Um, we already cut out the concrete and poured new footers for the beams so that we have nice good cement that the beams are gonna sit on. And uh, the next thing we're gonna do is build a temporary wall, then we're gonna bring in the I-beam and then we're gonna build another temporary wall so we don't get stuck uh, not be able to bring the, the I-beam in. So that's the plan. We're gonna show you guys how we did uh, every, every step and obviously talk to an engineer about uh, changing beams out of your house, but uh, this is a good little project to do and my son and I are gonna do it. So he'll show you how to do some concrete and bust some holes up and help me uh, build everything. All right, let's get into it. So we drilled a bunch of holes and then uh, we sludged it so that it break around where we want it to and it turned out pretty nice. And uh, then we just dug down a crowbar and a hammer and that's about all you need to get a nice about five, six, seven inch hole. Nice. What did you, what did you do that for? We are going to put cement in here because it wasn't very thick. It was only about, it was only about that thick. You can, you can actually see it right here. It wasn't as thick as it needs to be. So, we're going to be putting a lot of weight on those poles, right, huh? Right, there's a lot of weight going right here. So we want it to be strong, so they can hold up the house. Strong like glue? Right, so now we're going to put some cement in here, maybe a little bit of rebar or something. So yeah, let's go do that. Sweet. So I don't suggest doing it by hand, but it is pretty efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so once you get it to like a, an oatmeal type of consistency, that's when you know you got it good. So you're going to have to add water, Put some more cement in. You're gonna have to play around with it and until you get that uh, pretty good consistency. So I'm just gonna dump her in there. Go ahead and dump her in there, sir. That was almost perfect. Got our little piece of steel right here. I'm gonna pretend it's rebar. Push that in. All right. It's not too shabby. All right, so we're gonna bring in some 14 foot two by fours in here, but the entire basement's only 24 by 24. So it's gonna be a little tricky to bring them in. So we're gonna bring them in through that little window. And then the I-beam is also gonna come through that window. So that'll be pretty fun. It's a tiny window. That is a For tiny a window. big I-beam. But we're gonna actually take the little flapper dealie off and should be able to slide it right in. But that's the plan. So here we go, let's get them. Let's try it out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two, 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 two by four by 14s up to distribute the weight, and then we're gonna put one at the bottom, and then start filling it with uh, two by fours. So I think we're gonna go out in every stud, or we might go on 24s. Haven't decided yet, but we'll check it out. But let's go ahead and put these two up first. I already marked it. We're gonna go 20 inches off of the beam. That should give us a, enough strength to hold everything from moving while we take this beam out. And here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do, we got the top, the top little header piece set. It's doubled up two by fours. And then we gotta put the bottom one in, but I want it to be level so our weight is distributed, right? So what I'm gonna do, is the fine level. I'm gonna come as far over as I can. I guess I can go further. And we're gonna level this guy out. And once he's level, I'm gonna mark, mark it down here. 
So that's where this side needs to go. And then I'll come over and do the other side. All right, let's mark it. Now we know where our stud's gonna be. And what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna, we're, gonna mark, we're gonna lay this out, we're gonna measure them. I think I'm gonna go on every joist. And we're gonna go about an eighth inch heavy on each board so we have to hammer it in so it kind of puts the pressure up on it. So that is, uh, that's our next little goal here. So here we go. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to put up one of these two by fours for your temporary wall. If you already know how to do this, you can skip to the time right there. <laughs> we'll put the time right there. If you already know how to do this, you can just skip through the video and go there. All right, so we're gonna get started. We gotta get a tape measure. All right, so we'll say 76 and a quarter. Camera for right now. What did I say, 76 and a quarter? 76 and a quarter. This. That's a joist. Joist. So we're just going to make sure it's level in this direction. It's pretty close. Yeah. Then we're going to go. Yep. Alright, that's there. So we got the board all leveled out, straight up and down, nice and tight. All right, so we got the temporary wall up. Uh, we did leave a little opening so that we can get through to get to the washer and dryer. Uh, but we have everything up and toenailed in and strong. So the next step is gonna be go get the beam, which we're gonna go get the beam today. And then we're gonna sandwich it all with a bunch of wood, bring it in, then build the other temporary wall, and then actually get rid of the beam. So here we go. Alrighty, since we're gonna cut the I-beam there, it's 20 foot long, and so we actually measured 14 one and that goes all the way to the end of the house so we're gonna take our measurement and transfer it over to the i-beam so here we go all right guys so we just built the wall um, our first wall we're gonna go get the beam bring it in here and then build the second wall so that's what we're doing and uh then we can get rid of this stupid beam that always hits me in the head that's the whole goal here all right guys thanks for checking it out let's go all right guys, so we got the we got here to the beam. It's 20 foot long. Everything looks like it's our measurements are gonna be good. So we're gonna take six feet of it off. That does not look like six feet. Alright, so we got to the place with the beam. Start over. Alright guys, we just got here to uh, buy this beam. They were actually gonna do the same thing in their basement and decided not to. Hopefully uh, we're making the right decision. Um, it's a little long, so we are going to cut it at 14 right now. I bought this uh, metal blade that looks a lot like a masonry blade. We're going to try cutting with it and then putting it in the truck and hope we uh, make it home okay. So let's do it. This will be fun. Chickens. And this is a little French you clay, you clay, you clay. So look at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Right? No! Ah, uh, it's stuck. Nice. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> uh. Everybody, you got it. Yes! Good. <laughs> All right, we got it in there. A little sketch. Overextends a little bit. JJ, what are we doing? No, no, no. We got, got it. In the truck. Yes, let's go. Let's go. All right. So we're at the shop. Uh, we're gonna make some beams for the sides. We had two of them. We had to cut about 10 inches of them off. So what's funny is all that was holding them was two spot welds on either side. So we ground them up 
and uh, we're gonna go and do a nice salad weld all the way around it. But uh, we're gonna make these, take them home. So we got the top cut off, or the extra pole, and we're cleaning it up so we can get a good weld. Cleaned up the side, the top side, and I'm putting it right about middle so that we can still adjust it if we need to, you know, halfway up or down. So that's what we got. This is what it's looking like. Now it's time to weld it. We're gonna go ahead and tack it on, make sure everything's straight, and then, uh, then we'll come back for a full weld. Here we go. All right, so we took out about 10 inches of each, each of them, fully welded them up, and now they're ready to go in the house. That's how you shorten these, what are these called? Support posts. Support posts, that's how you shorten them. Anthony, you're putting it right through my window. I love it. We're gonna build the second temporary wall here. Abigail, <laughs> cutting some wood, and we're building up this uh, second wall so that we can take this beam down. So uh, here we go. All right guys, so we put up both the temporary walls and we're about to take out the main structure point of the house. And Abby's gonna do it. Good job. All right, now th this beam is next, huh? This beam is coming out and hopefully the walls All right guys, so we got our first little piece cut, so now we can pull this out and then pull this one out and get this beam gone. Then we're gonna notch up every single one of these and bring the new metal beam in. Let's do it. Let's get it. Woo! One hit. All right, so we are almost there. We got the entire beam out. Now we're actually gonna notch our floor, floor joist. And we got, we got uh, Mr. Broski over here, Broski, holding the laser level. He is amazing at it. And we were able to do a laser across and mark where our beam's gonna go so we can cut out the joist. So check it out. All right, so we're just gonna run this, this little guy here. At two inches, all the way down, now that we got our marks. And then we're gonna cut with the saws, I think. We're gonna try, get a nice square cut. Here we go. All right, so we got most of the prep work done and I think we're finally ready to get this beam at least put up there for the first time, hopefully only one time. Um, everything's got notched 
and squared up, uh, leveled out. So we went up two and a half inches and uh, that should give us enough clearance once the flooring is done and everything all the way down. We had to move a little bit of duct work and um, I think we're ready to do it. So uh, let's, let's give it a go and see if we can get this beam up there. Alright guys, so we just finished putting the beam up and supporting it with these jacks. So what we did was we lift this side up, we sort of put it on that ledge right there, and then we came over here, propped it up around the shelf, which was a little bit difficult. <laughs> we probably could have just taken the shelf off, but we propped it around the shelf, put it up on that ledge, and then slid the jacks in, leveled up the jacks, raised it up. Hey guys. I have a little bit of a dilemma. I'm over here. But the broom is right there. Whoa. All right. All right. All right, to catch you up, we uh, went to the metal shop, our metal shop, and cut a plate, filled some holes, because what we're gonna do is we want to join the old beam to the new beam and uh, weld it all together. So, and also gonna weld it to the old beam here as well that's behind this wall. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four bolts to the right in those holes there, and then we're gonna weld it there, here, and up here. So we're gonna do a bunch of metal work in here as well. All right, so we just stuck two of the timber locks in just to hold the plate, and then we're pre-drilling. Uh, only reason why I pre-drilled is because it's old wood, not looking to split anything, and kind of just give a little guide to go through. All right, so we got the beam in, we got the post in, and we got everything leveled. Um, now that you guys see, you guys seen that we notched the top. Well, I don't want it to just sit on that top weight. I also want to reinforce the bottom. So what I'm doing is, you can come on over here, is welding these little plates up and down, and then putting these little pieces of angle iron in, and then welding these two together. So that's going to carry our bottom load weight um, across the joist. So you'll have the top, the bottom, and then we even welded in the beams so this thing's not going anywhere everything's level and uh try to finish this thing up all right thanks guys so we just drilled these holes for these sleeve concrete cement anchors so then we're just gonna line up line it up just like that and we're gonna tap it in And just tighten them down, they're 9 16 Took a half inch masonry drill bit and the 3 8 bolts. So that'll just lock it down in place. And nothing moves. Right, Jimmy? Yep. All right guys, so we finished the project. Everything's in and welded, uh, secured, the walls are down, and now we have this open space that we were going for, and I don't hit my head, thank goodness. But I couldn't have done it if it wasn't for these guys right here. I mean, these guys right here. These guys right here. 
So thank you guys. You guys were my bodyguards. I mean, I couldn't have done it without you. Abby cutting down the first section of the beam and, and JJ with that floating. It was awesome. So, <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. And uh, don't try this at home. I'm your home. Have a good one. Thank you.